Jessie. She is my stepmom, and well, we are going to be cooking. What are we cooking? We are cooking paleo nacho pot pie. Ooh, sounds delicious. I hope it is. You can find it at beautyandthefoodie.com. And then, what is step one, Kennedy? Wash your hands. Yes, you don't want to be eating germs. So we've already washed our hands, so we can move on to step two. And step two is to preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Okay, and then the next step is we're going to go ahead and start browning our hamburger meat. So what goes on the taco seasoning, Kennedy? We have garlic powder and mm, cayenne pepper, mm, oregano leaves, and sea salt. We have chili powder <laughs> and coriander seed. Thing to remember is while the meat is cooking, you want to keep stirring it. Um, our burger isn't quite ready to go yet, so we're just going to let it sit for a minute. So, while your meat's cooking, which by the way, it smells delicious in here, um, it's time to prepare the crust for the pot pie. So, you would grind up the cauliflower, you would just sort of pick off the ends and put it in. Like that. And turn it. Turn the lid toward it. There you go. So you put it on, like so. And grind it up. smells way better than before. I can't believe it. Okay, so now that our beef is done cooking, we would just take the seasoning and pour in the water, mix it together with the pork or something. Mix. Um, and then you would just add it to the meat. This way. salt and garlic powder. Okay, so now let me take your two eggs and mix them. Takes a little bit. And you just add it to whole flour. already added the coconut oil to the casserole dish and I have added the beef to it and blended it. Okay, I have topped the beef with the all flour mixture and I will put it in the oven for 25 minutes. Okay, so I have just pulled this out of the oven and I know it's ready and done because the edges are brown and the middle of it is firm. Okay, so these are the optional options for your nacho pot pie. We have salsa, ooh, which I'm definitely going to put on there. <laughs> Tomatoes, jalapenos, and sliced avocado, which I will probably put on there too. So these are, again, these are just optional, so you don't have to put them on there, but my 
opinion is, there. I think it tastes better when there's all these toppings on it. So, yeah. Okay, so here is the finished product of the nacho pot pie. Yum, looks delicious. Can't wait to eat it. Okay, so stay tuned at Kennedy's, Kennedy's Kitchen Creations because there will be more videos.